Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Run, well we're back here with the Oskita stuff and this time we're looking at one of their cordless Bluetooth speakers that recently came out. Now this is a great little device and if you've already got the Oskita batteries it's relatively cheap but if you don't then it's kind of an expensive item to get. But overall it's quite a neat little package. So anyway like all my videos, let's get in the box and see if this is something you want to get for your work site or workshop and we'll go from there. So the first thing out of the box is basically a paper manual which will show you how to pair the Bluetooth speaker and a bit of the information about the Bluetooth speaker and you also get this brochure here which covers their battery range. So that's the first thing out of the box. Next is you also get a 3.5mm uh, cable jack and this is to plug into the speaker so you can run it from a cable as well as using the Bluetooth functionality of the actual speaker. So they do give you a cable too which is quite handy. And finally we've got the actual speaker system itself and as you can see it's not particularly big. Um, you've got this bit here that allows you to sort of uh, clip it to your belt buckle or hang it on a wall which is quite handy. Now on this side here you've got your 3.5mm input jack for um, inputting audio to the speakers as well as the fact that they're also Bluetooth which is quite handy. You've also got a USB port so you can actually use it to also charge your mobile phone. An LED light there. On the top you've got your power and your plus and minus for uh, adjusting the volume of the speakers and then on the bottom is where you would put your battery. Now I've got a 2 amp um, a, a battery here and so what we'll do is we'll power this unit up. I'll pair it up with a little mini device that I can use for uh, Bluetooth and we'll test the sound and I'll also show you it connected to um, the 3.5mm jack so you get an idea of all options. So next let's go uh, pair this device up and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I've got the Oskita uh, Bluetooth speaker and I've got a battery for it. And so first of all, you just slide the battery in like so. So this is what it looks like now with the battery on. And of course, the cool thing is you can also use it for charging. So next, what you want to do is um, press the top button and it'll make that ping noise. And then it's automatically in pairing mode. So unless you connect the wire, it'll automatically look for a Bluetooth device. So I've got this little mini Bluetooth player. So if I turn it on, and uh, then what we do is go and select um, Bluetooth. So we just go and turn on Bluetooth. And so now we're we'll searching for the Bluetooth device. Uh, so that means now it's connected. So next what we want to do is we will play um, some files from uh, the card on here so you can hear what they sound like. So let's play one of them now. And you can use the plus and minus to turn the volume up. So I'll put the volume right up. So that's now playing Bluetooth to this little uh, speaker. Okay, so there's one final thing. I just basically quickly show you what it's like when you plug it in with a cable instead of using the Bluetooth. So basically, um, you just plug it into the back here using their 3.5mm jack. And then I'll just use that same little player I was using before. And I'll plug that in. And basically what you want to do then is um, turn your Bluetooth speaker on pretty much similar to when it was in Bluetooth mode and then I'll just turn this player on and then this time it's not going to use the Bluetooth it's just going to use this cable. So now we're just playing a um, file using the 3.5mm jack and as you can hear it's quite loud and it's an option if you don't have Bluetooth. Anyway let's go wrap this video up. Well there you go, there's my quick unboxing and review of the Oskita Bluetooth speaker and overall this is a pretty cool speaker. It's pretty robust and it certainly is quite handy if you've got a workshop or you're on a work site and you want to listen to some music. This is definitely not going to cost you too much money, especially if you're already in the battery system, it's a, a, a pretty much no-brainer to buy. Um, it does have the other functionality of also having a cable connection if you can't use the Bluetooth, which is pretty handy. And you can also charge your mobile phone on the go. 
So it's got a lot of features that are quite good and for the price you're not going to be out of pocket for much. So overall I can recommend this. Anyway, I'm Justin and as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.